we're going to find the volume V of what we're calling this a wetting band obtained by rotating this region between the graphs x squared plus 2 and 4 minus x squared. But it's going to, instead of going around the x axis, it's going around the horizontal line y equals negative 3. All right, so first picture, we've got our region that we're rotating. And they draw in the line y equals 3. So we're taking this. Picture that coming out of the paper, it's going around y equals negative 3 instead of just going around x. So look at the cross-section picture that they draw for us. They say that the radius of the outer is g of x plus 3. So let's think about this for a second. g of x is actually the curve that's on top of this region. So g of x is the y value. Well, the radius isn't just the y value. It's got three extra units right here because we're going around y equals negative 3. Um, I like to draw in there that this is my outer radius. So this part is my y value, and then I've got three units right here. So that's where they get that g of x plus 3. Same thing for the inner radius. Here's my inner radius. This part is my y value. And then I have three extra units. So that's where they get f of x plus 3 from. Okay? So let's set this up and do this one. <clears throat> okay? The volume is still pi times. What are we going from? What are our bounds? Negative 1 to positive 1, where they intersect. Okay, they give you the picture here, they're not going to give you the picture on the exam. So you set them equal to each other, find where they intersect. Um, so our outer radius is g of x, which is 4 minus x squared plus 3 squared minus the inner radius, which is f of x, x squared plus 2 plus 3 squared. And I promise you, if they give you one like this, 95% certain it's going to be calculator accurate. So at this point, you need to take your calculator and you need to type in that integral exactly how it looks. Pi, make sure you've got the parentheses in the right spot. Uh, integrate F3, integrate parentheses, 4 minus x squared. You know what? I wouldn't even try to simplify the constants. I mean, surely we can. But you know how frazzled you can get on that test? Just don't even do it. What? What? Yeah. That's what I was just saying. Don't risk it. Just, just type it in. Y'all know how frazzled you get on the test? Things start blurring together. You start adding 3 and 4 and getting 5, okay? Y'all have done it before. I've watched you do it many times before. Just type it in, okay? They don't know that you didn't add 4 and 3 to get 7. They don't care. They just care that you know how to set it up and that you know how to use the tools at your disposal. And always check it, guys. After you press Enter, before you write down that answer or before you select that answer choice, Look back at it, and I love that these calculators have this pretty print. Make sure that exactly what you have written down is exactly what shows up here. Because you may have missed a set of parentheses or something like that. Um, and they are really good at putting those answer choices on there that correlate with really tiny, itty bitty mistakes. So check and make sure that what you meant to type in is what you actually typed in before you got the answer. Okay. All right. What if the radius, or what if we're rotating about a line above our region? Okay. So let's look at this one. We've got f of x is 9 minus x squared. The horizontal line, y equals 12. We're going between 0 and 3. And we're going to go about the line, y equals 12, and about the line, y equals 15. So we're going to do it twice here. Okay, we're going to do it twice. So, 
let's talk about this. If we're just going about the line y equals 12, this would be considered our outer radius. You go from the axis you're rotating to the furthest curve away. So that is our outer radius. So how do we find that distance? This is our y, right? So how do we find the, the purple part? Well, we'll do the purple part there. Let me draw a couple more in there. 12 minus y is our outer radius. Okay, 12 minus y will give us our outer radius. So this volume is pi times the integral from 0 to 3. Our outer radius is 12 minus, in this case, y is coming from the parabola. Make sure you put parentheses around that 9 minus x squared. Minus, because we're subtracting. Okay, now, do we have a quote-unquote inner radius in this case, if we're rotating about the line y equals 12? No, we're not missing anything, because 12 is the top part of our region, so I don't need to subtract anything else. That is our integral, that is what we're integrating to get the volume of this curve for part A. Okay, type it in. That's all you have to do for part A. Okay, that's all you have to do for part A. There is typically, sometimes there is a multiple choice question about this. But honestly, I've seen the multiple choice question just being, how would you set this up? Um, so you would, and it would probably be one that's a little bit more complicated like this. Now there is always, almost always, a free response question that involves this. It will have, typically it has a, find the area between the curves, and it asks you a cross section and it asks you a solid of revolution. But sometimes on the solids, they just ask you to set it up, too, on that as well. Okay? So this volume is 648 pi over 5. Okay. Now, let's look at how things change if B says that we're going to rotate it around the line Y equals 15. Okay, we're going to rotate it around the line y equals 15. So let's look at our outer radius versus our inner radius. So draw all over these pictures, guys. Okay, when you get this test, draw all over the graphs. If they give them to you, don't, don't think that you, you can't or you're not supposed to or, or whatever. So how do we find that outer radius there? 15 minus y. Okay, we're still going from 0 to 3, so the outer radius is going to be 15 minus 9 minus x squared, squared. What's our inner radius? Does it change? Nope. What is it the whole time? 3. Okay. And so, honestly, we can kind of take what we just had on the last problem and change the 12 to a 15 and then add our minus 9 there on the end. Again, probably wouldn't hurt just to type in 3 squared so that you don't, you know, subtract 6 or something like that. Y'all are pretty good for doing that sometimes. So this one is a bigger volume, which makes sense. Uh, or I think it's bigger. Yeah, it's bigger. Um, which makes sense because we're going about a uh, line that's further away, so that outer radius is going to be bigger. Um, and you can kind of compare 
it, it leaves a little bit bigger. Even though we're subtracting that cylinder there in the middle, uh, it does end up being bigger on the outside. So there's that problem. Okay? So really, like I said, most of the time these are calculator active. So if you can set them up, 95% of the battle is over with. Okay? So try